Can you say that Chuck again? <laughs> this is Jevin again. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. It's Carol and Kali Tiger at Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. She is on the prowl this afternoon. back the other way, right? Yeah, that's what we're doing. You know, in the wild, these guys would roam over 400 square miles, so there is just no cage anybody could possibly give them that is going to be sufficient for their needs. Rebecca, thank you for donating. So there's a lot of uh, news circulating out there about a woman who was mauled to death at one of those places where you go to walk with lions and the first news reports that came out said that it was Kevin Richardson's place and then everybody since then has been like oh my we don't know where this happened so <laughs> I don't know what's happening there but I'm sure the truth will come out in the end really sad that this woman lost her life and it just it goes to show that there is so little oversight of really stupid activities that put people in harm's way around big cats when there's just no way that we were ever meant to be friends. <laughs> They're apex predators. We absolutely adore them, but we know better than to ever touch them here. I'd certainly never go in the cage with you. Alright, this is going to be my last trip with you and we're going to see who else is out. <laughs> Sean, you do not want, believe me. She's probably about 400 pounds of top killing machine. And even though she's very friendly and very chuffy, she would just think that you were crunchy and taste good with ketchup. I started to go by Joseph and decided against it because today the vet came out and since he's eating so poorly they decided the only way they were going to get the meds into him that they need to get into him was to dart him and they had to use two syringes that were five cc's each. That's a lot of medication to hit the cat with in a dart and have it actually go into the cat and not bounce out. And so Dr. Wynn and Jamie went out there to do that. Jamie actually did the darting. She did an expert job of it. Got all the drugs into him. So we're really hoping, hey Artemis, we're really hoping that's gonna make him feel better. Kind of at our wits end. Bogdan, thank you for the donation. Artemis is like, oh, this can't be good. Don't stop in front of my enclosure. I heard something about darts. Oh, there's Gabrielle up on her platform back there. Spanish, but I'm coming to know a few words like uh, Bellissima and what's the other one I hear all the time or read all the time? Hermosa. Hi! There's Gabrielle doing so good after her surgery. You can see where her belly was shaved. She had a cancerous mass. It looked like about the size of a grapefruit that Dr. Justin was able to cut off of her belly and sewed her back up and 
gave her another one of her nine lives. She's so happy not to be in that hospital cage. Nobody likes the hospital cage. There's Hoover back there up on his platform. Debbie Lynn, thank you for the donation. We may be needing that very shortly. Oh, yes. The reason I say we may be needing it is we are working with the Humane Society International and Animal Defenders International to try and rescue those circus tigers in Guatemala and HSI is already on the ground there. They've talked to the Minister of Wildlife or whatever that role is called and they are very willing to send those tigers to the U.S. So it's just a matter of setting up a temporary holding facility there because it takes a long time to get the permits but it's good that the country is saying that they're willing to work on it rather than euthanize the cats. That's very exciting and there are groups that know what they're doing on the ground getting all of those processes started. Big Cat Rescue can take in maybe three or four of the cats. I think there's a total of, I forget, a total of 13 or maybe a total of 17 and Tigers in America has talked with the other tiger sanctuaries in the Big Cat Sanctuary Alliance Hello, my sweetness. Somebody looks all cozy. Um, so that all of the cats will have homes, provided that we can get the paperwork done and get the funds to do it. Because that's talking about, you know, hiring some great big freight liner to, or I don't know what you call it, those big cargo planes to bring that many cats over at one time going to be a very expensive undertaking but we're all working on it and so hopefully those cats will be here in a year or so because that's how long the paperwork takes. Hi Nanny! <gasps> Sweet Nanny Jaguar! We're all getting very excited about World Wildlife Day 2018 because this year they are focusing under focusing on big cats under threat. Yes, I give you kisses too. I love those kisses. I love those kisses. Yes, you're just the sweetest thing ever. Yes, you are. You're so sweet. You're so sweet. Big shout out to Joanne Weiss. She's one of our people that you see here in the chat room every once in a while. And she just came up with some beautiful designs. There is a... Um, very colorful white tiger uh, print and then there's a black and white white tiger print and a golden tiger that has like this golden wreath around it it's just gorgeous so if you go to amazon.com and search Joanne it's J-O-A-N-N -N, and her last name is spelled Weiss W-E-I-S-S -S -S, Joanne jo J-O-A-N-N -N, Weiss, W-E-I-S-S, -S, at Amazon.com, you should be able to find those shirts pretty easily, and there are all kinds. There's men's, women's, and kids, and they come in a regular t-shirt, a premium t-shirt, a long sleeve t-shirt. Oh, yes, you like those, huh? You like long sleeves? And sweatshirts. Um, wow, beautiful butterfly just went by. I saw a huge butterfly earlier in the day big yellow ones. Okay. So, stop talking. I want some snacks. I don't have any snacks. So all of those were in celebration of World Wildlife Day and buying them from Amazon is really cool because Amazon does the printing, Amazon does the shipping, Amazon does the collection of money and then they just send us our part. Joanne, thank you for donating. 
and we don't have to do anything. So that's the best kind of money is where it doesn't take a bunch of our staff to deal with it. Hey, Sundari. Oh, Sundari. It's a sweet Sundari. <laughs> My goodness. Are you going to pounce me? I can tell with that tail. Oh, you got me. You got me, old girl. You are being precious. Lipstick on my phone. How did that happen? Don't, you can chase that tail? I'm gonna get that tail. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. <laughs> Uh, yes, I see somebody talking about cats being born in cages. If they were born in a cage, they can never go free. It's not legal and it's not possible because it takes their mother's ears to teach them what they need to know about going free. We do that with baby bobcats who have been orphaned. We teach them how to hunt and how to survive on their own. But if a baby bobcat goes up and attacks a person, that person's not going to die from it. So. Even if we did a horrible job of rehabbing, which we don't, we do a great job, it wouldn't be as dangerous as trying to set free a tiger. <laughs> and as I said, it's not legal to set free the tigers because tigers aren't native to the United States. And yet so many of them are being born in the U.S. because people will still stupidly pay to have their pictures made with a cub. And until that stops, then the abuse can't stop. So like Harrison Ford said, when the buying stops, the abuse can too. Lori Deska is in the house. And I didn't see Armani. And I did not see her. Her and didn't see her. She didn't meow at me. Are you giving everybody a hug? Is that what that is? That's a hug? A jaguar hug and a kiss? Yes. It's a hug and a kiss. You're such a good boy. Here's Riza. Riza Cougar. today. <laughs> Can't see you behind all that grass. There you go, it's a twofer. Riza in the front and Manny in the back. Jessica, we do not have cubs, and you would almost never find cubs at a legitimate sanctuary because sanctuaries don't breed wild cats for life in prison, and the people who pimp out cubs, they don't give them up until they can't use them anymore, so they're pretty much adults by the time they get rid of them. So when you find a place that has a bunch of cubs and they say that they're doing conservation work or they're protecting them, it's probably a lie. We have a great page about all of that, um, dealing with cubs, at bigcatrescue.org slash cubs, C-U-B-S, bigcatrescue.org slash cubs. Uh, Tanya, when Manny makes his kissy faces, he is not making a noise. That was me saying, Mwah. he doesn't do that very well. Angie Noel is going outside very soon. Thing is, we gotta catch Aphrodite <laughs> because we really want Noel to be on the explore cam because we want to see how she's using those legs and make sure she's not limping 
and um, so the explore cam is only on the first bank of cages so we need to move Aphrodite over to the second bank of cages problem is catching Aphrodite so we're working on that as soon as we do then Noel is cleared by the vet to go out You are you gonna talk today? Are you gonna say ra? Oh, that is a pitiful little ra. He's another one like Riza, just talks and talks and talks. Uh, Megan, the tiger Gabrielle, who had that surgery to remove the cancerous mass, she's doing fabulous, and she was back out in her enclosure. I think we put her out there yesterday. Um, and earlier in this live feed, if you go back and play it from the beginning, you'll see her out on her platform doing quite well. I make that same mistake all the time where I accidentally type cars when I mean to type cats. <laughs> Here's Ginger. Ginger! Ginger Cerebral! Oh, you're very busy, aren't you? You're so busy. Noelle's gonna love having all that space. Rebecca Ginger is not new. She's been here for a couple of years. She came with a whole group of cats that all had names from Gilligan's Island. There's Lovey and Thurston, Marianne and Ginger and Skipper and Gilligan. And this is Tonga. Tonga the white serval. Yes, Dr. Justin thinks Noelle has a very good chance of being released. She's healing just great. And we already know that she knows how to take care of herself because she was doing that right up until the time that she got hit by a car. So barring some kind of horrible accident, she is going to be set free. She probably still needs a couple of months. We've already talked to our officer at the Florida Wildlife Commission because if you're going to keep a rehab animal in captivity for more than 180 days, you've got to explain to them why and uh, show them the medical records and everything to back that up. And so obviously breaking three bones on two legs was enough of a reason. Wow, a black butterfly. There's so many butterflies all of a sudden. Um, breaking all those bones is going to take her a while to heal properly. Kind of quiet out here. I think I might have missed the evening snacks. I haven't seen a golf cart. Aphrodite's doing well. I know there's a lot of people really worried about the fact that she had a hard time catching a rabbit. Um, and she is not patient <laughs> and not showing really good skills when it comes to hunting. She stays right in front of the 
the uh, tubes where the rats come into the enclosure, which means the rats can see her, which means <laughs> she has to wait a longer period of time for the rat to sneak out. And so she's, she's <laughs> having issues with it. But she's got to learn, and she will learn, and this is the best way to teach her. Once she learns that you have to hide yourself from the rat, then she'll be able to hide herself from the rat. I see Bailey up there. Bailey Bobcat! Sleeping in the tunnel! Thank you for saving cardboard tubes for us. We make all kinds of enrichment for the cats. Oops, sorry about that. Should have zoomed out before I started spinning. Every day the cats get some kind of different enrichment, whether it be cardboard tubes or paper bags sprayed with perfumes or blood sickles, something different, tuna sickles to make their day interesting. Oh, look at you up there. You're so pretty. You're so pretty. I'm going to come in and get a better look at you. This is a little white dove. And I will be willing to bet running bear is going to come running out and bark at me for getting this close. I see him. He's in the den down there. He's down there. I'm going to try and keep one eye on her and one eye on him. <laughs> She's going to keep no eyes on us. I think if I ignore me, I'll just go away. Maybe so. Where are you going, little one? Can you go have a drink? Her feeding lockout. Every day we feed the cats in these little boxes and this is where the water is so that if we had to catch them. Oh no, go ahead. <laughs> so they get accustomed to coming in these little boxes to have their water and to get fed and if we needed to catch them we could just shut that door right there behind her and it would be stress-free catching. Relatively stress-free. Nothing's ever stress-free with an exotic cat. They freak out, we freak out. So that was Afton going out and doing evening milk. I just didn't want to hold her up. You guys can stand to walk back through the sanctuary. I hope that wasn't too bouncy. I'll try to do my model walk. If you guys go to bigcatrescue.biz, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's finally available in there. You see my broken fingernail. It's paw prints over an iridescent rainbow ring and I love it. It's we have all different sizes and I don't know the price but um, you can see the inside of it. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where the camera part is. Is it over here? So I think it's important when you wear a rainbow, rid rainbow bridge ring to have the paw prints facing back towards you as a reminder to always be bringing those loved ones back into your heart. I had been selling them over at catrescue.biz, but you had to wait like six to eight weeks <laughs> to get them because they were coming over from China. So I found another manufacturer who would send me a bunch of them at one time. I think we ordered 60 of them. And so um, 
we're testing them out at Big Cat Rescue Dot Biz. And I just saw today that they were available there. So if you go to Big Cat Rescue Dot Biz and type in the word ring, you should be able to find it. Or rainbow. Although I don't know if she used rainbow in the name as she titled it. I call it the Rainbow Bridge. I can't even say this. Rainbow Bridge Ring. But I don't know if that's what they titled it in the other store. Maybe I should have taken that ride with Afton. I think we're going to do a shortcut through here and see if we can't catch her on the other side. For those wondering what the Wildcat Walkabout is, that is always going to be on the first Saturday of November and it's the only day of the year that you can just wander around. So anytime anybody comes, <laughs> hello Dryden, oh this is a treat, cute little Dryden, hello, he's very shy, where did he go, here he comes. At the Wildcat Walkabout, you can walk around all afternoon and spend time in front of the cats that you love most. And I think it's $25 a person, which is also cheaper than our regular tour price. I'm so glad we got to see him. So a bunch of people have already bought their tickets because every year it sells out. I think we allow 550 people in that day, and man, it sells out fast, so that's why people are buying their tickets now already. There's Lovey. Lovey Bobcat. She was part of the crew from Gilligan's Island. Kathy, thank you for the donation. Somebody just asked, do people get to see baby cakes on the Wildcat Walkabout? In the past, no, because his cage was so far away from all of the cats, because that would freak him out being really close to a bunch of big cats, I think, given that he's a little weasel animal and probably on the menu <laughs> for them. But now that he's in the offices, he has his own office, um, my guess is that we could have people look in the window to where he stays. I think we caught up just in time for Hoover. Although I don't know if you'd see him because he sleeps all day and then at night's when he's so active. <laughs> After a while, I was like, man, I should have taken that ride. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I started a little late because I was with Jamie making plans. Hey, you! Oh, that's not what I wanted you to do at all. You're so far away. Yeah. Trying to give the meds to Desi, Serval. Desi only has three legs. He was found that way, laying alongside the highway in the Catalina foothills of Arizona. But servals are native to Africa, so he did not get there on his own. Do you need me to move? As soon as you leave, you'll get it. Oh, you already left it? Yeah. We found out people have been cheating. And she knows now that the move will just throw treats at him. 
and he doesn't need any treats. So I will make him watch me set them down. And then when we go away, he's like, oh man, like that's it. And then he goes and gets them. To go all the way over there. <laughs> it must oh. be like 10 feet. <laughs> man, when he was younger, he would have been in my face for food. Diana, thank you for the donation. There he goes. Yep. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> it. Gabrielle still up on her platform. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Hey, start. <laughs> I can see you now. We need lots of parts, Hoover. I'm glad their hearts are not the little laughing faces because I can't believe I have to do this every time.
on his menu tonight. Oh man, he has gotten turkey thighs, that was pork, chicken thighs, red, and there's some chicken drums in there too. When she says red, she means beef. Yes. that one back up. Huh? up one more uh, ring if you can. There you go, like that. Oh, I would have swore he left it up there. It's up there. Good. 
Yeah. Uh, Nikita. This is for her allergy nose. Her nose, and it'll help her cut on her side, too. That thing's been there for a long time. Kathy, thank you for the donation. <laughs> they said Hooper says class again tomorrow. <laughs> he's offering conditioning you. Yeah. So I love how he gets down when he's done. Can you get down when you're ready? He likes being served. Oh, maybe. But he usually sleeps during the day. Yeah. Yep. Hey there, beautiful. <laughs> you think it's going to be good? It's mm. going to be good. You're going to love it. Mm. Oh. Oh. Mm. Oh. 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 Oh, hi. Oh, she's a good girl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Captain's getting it. She's getting it for you right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's that all about? You're a great gardener, Nikita. Better than the farm. Mm -hmm. huh. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> that's okay, that's it. You got the other half this morning.
Her sign says she was born in 2001. Good job, Nikita. You licking that right off the plate? Oh, so wire. Beggars. What are you guys doing? different. There's nothing in it. Cameron. Hey. Come here. big ones. They failed me today. What about this one? He knows the difference between the huge ones and those ones. But it's the same kind of animal. <laughs> <laughs> Come 
He used to love these ones until he started getting the super big ones and then he's like, hmm, thank you. That's not what I ordered. <laughs> Does it beat anything since getting the injection? No, um, I haven't tried because he was upset. Like, very upset. Yeah. <laughs> when I first started filming tonight, I didn't even go by him because I was like, he probably doesn't want to see anybody with something in their hands. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how he's going to feel about me. I'm I wasn't, not go there. I wasn't really there, but I was there to help retrieve them because... Mm. Jamie can't help with that, and Dr. Wynn can't help with that because he doesn't like neither one of them. <laughs> so, I brought his food. I don't know how it's going to go or how he's going to react towards me. So, I'm going to try. And if not, I might have like karma try just because it's someone that has nothing to do with it. So, all we can do is try, and then probably tomorrow will be a better day. Because <laughs> he was very angry. It didn't just happen once, it happened twice. So when you said you had to retrieve it, did you have to actually pull the darts out? Um, out of the cage, but one stayed in there and hung out for a little bit. But we just had him distracted him in different directions to make him kind of drop it on his own because the last thing we wanted to do was use a stick and like touch him with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she bent down. She's not looking at me. Not my first day. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to cut it off here so that Afton can deal with Joseph quietly without me in the background um, being distracting. But we will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you, everybody, who helped us with the comments and all of the donations and all the likes and shares and hearts. And oh, boys, be careful. It was wonderful. So thank you so be much, careful. everybody. Yes, Lisa, those three go on vacation together. It was a lot of fun. In fact, if you look at the video we posted earlier in the day about Andre being a tiger of mass destruction, <laughs> there's several of those scenes where he's in the uh, vacation rotation enclosure tearing up enrichment.